Hello, I'm Antonio Mora, and this is the News and News.com Day in Brief. Today's top stories in three minutes. It's Monday, May 28th at about 6.30 p.m. ABC didn't wait long to swing the axe and cancel the Roseanne sitcom after the show's namesake star spewed racist hatred on Twitter. Roseanne Barr tweeted that if the Muslim Brotherhood and the Planet of the Apes had a baby, it would be senior Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett. Roseanne later apologized, but ABC said her statement was abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, ending the short rebirth of what had quickly become the network's highest-rated show. A lesson many should heed. If you don't want the world to know you're a bigot, you might want to count to 100 before you tweet. It just might save your job no matter who you are. Talking Twitter, President Trump accused Robert Mueller of keeping the Russia investigation going in order to meddle in the midterm elections. And he confirmed that Kim Jong-un's right-hand man was on his way to the U.S. We now know Kim Jong choi will meet with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in New York, another indication that it is now full steam ahead for the June 12th summit between Trump and Kim Jong-un. The U.S. also paused new sanctions against North Korea, and Trump is reportedly actively preparing for the summit. A man in the Belgian city of Liège stabbed two female police officers, took their guns, shot them and a bystander to death, injured four other officers, and took a female custodian hostage at a nearby school before he was killed. He was reportedly shouting, Allahu Akbar. Meanwhile, the world equity markets plummeted, including an almost 400-point drop in the Dow, as financial stocks were slammed thanks in part to the growing political turmoil in Italy and concerns it will now become the new Greece. Also, the Trump administration said it would proceed with a 25% tariff on $50 billion worth of goods from China. Israeli planes hit dozens of targets in Gaza after a barrage of mortars was shot from there into Israel, and Missouri Governor Eric Greitens resigned amid a sexual misconduct scandal. In our alternate universe segment, the great divide between liberal and conservative media was evident in the different approaches to the Roseanne racism. MSNBC was almost gleeful in its approach, associating Roseanne with Trump and saying the show's cancellation was, quote, a defeat for Trump folks. CNN was more sober in its approach, although one pundit complained it took too long for Roseanne to get fired. It actually only took ABC less than 12 hours, and Roseanne sent the tweet well before dawn when most people were sleeping. Fox, on the other hand, echoed the strong condemnation, saying canceling Roseanne wasn't even a close call for ABC. But then, former presidential candidate Herman Cain appeared as a guest. After condemning Roseanne as well, he said he suspected this was used as an excuse to cancel a conservative show and that it would not have happened this fast for a liberal. I guess he and the anchor interviewing him forgot what happened to Kathy Griffin last year. Finally, one of the most interesting stories of the day is how an Icelandic company has come up with a drone that flies like a bird. One problem, it raises some serious security concerns. You can find all those stories and much more updated around the clock seven days a week on newsandnews.com, where you'll find all you need to know in one place. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the right of your screen just below this video, and please follow me on Twitter at AmoraTV. I'll see you again tomorrow.